Haunted Travels with your hosts, Sean and Marianne Gaunt. <laughs> well, hello, YouTubers. Welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. I'm Sean Donnelly. And I'm Mary Ann Donnelly. She had to go shut off a... A laptop that we had go off in the yeah other i heard room. i heard the intro in the other room yeah. Oops. <laughs> well it's been a while since we did a live broadcast it has been a while since yeah. we did a live broadcast we used to do live broadcasts every with dark shadow ghost saturday. tours every other saturday mm -hmm. after tour i miss yes. those yeah we got to get going with those okay yeah those were fun especially <laughs> with mike and we had all all kinds of fun anyways this episode we got some things to talk about and uh, we're going to do a giveaway at the end. All right? Love giveaways. Love They're always giveaways. fun. Yeah. I love giving stuff away. I'm too. so much shorter than you. You can't even <laughs> see that we're wearing the same outfits. <laughs> okay. I just look like I'm wearing a red sweatshirt. <laughs> so, um, for those of you who are just joining us, we are going to do a giveaway at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a video that we posted where we hit 100 subscribers on our channel, and we said, hey, we're going to give away a t-shirt uh, as thanks for our subscribers. Um, if you did not get in on that, you still have a chance. They do? So, yes, absolutely. How could Here's they the do thing, that? Here's the thing, though. If you're watching us on Twitter or Facebook or something like that, you need to click on over to our YouTube channel. You have to subscribe. And you have to leave us a comment on this video. The chat is open, live chat right now. And you have to tell us whether you believe or don't believe in the paranormal. And if you do believe, why? If you have a story. That's going to enter you into a chance to win a t-shirt. Go ahead. You can take your paper. We're live. We're going to make mistakes, folks. Sorry, it's a live broadcast. This is unedited. <laughs> well, I just don't want to make too much noise with the microphone. like. Yeah, that's all right. So... Uh, the two other things that I want to talk about for Christmas, and this is probably going to wrap up our Christmas videos, so to speak, because we have the we holidays have the, coming We up. have the 12 days of Christmas That's to right. deal with now. <laughs> we have the festivities, festivities and activities coming up, so we won't have time to make videos. So this might wrap up our Christmas videos that we've been doing. Uh, we put out, I think it's like six the six? Oh, you don't know. I don't know. Uh, I know I did too. I just say, honey, I need to record your <laughs> narration. Go sit down or clip this mic on, read this. Yeah. That type of thing. Um, but on our channel, we do have a playlist of the Christmas related videos that we put out. So, you know, we could use some views. Hint, hint, go watch them. <laughs> All That'd right. That'd be nice. Um, but we do have some cool stuff out there. We have the. Uh, Oh, the 10 uh, castles and halls uh, ghost stories. We have uh, the 10 things that you can get a, a ghost hunter for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 ghost hunting stocking stuffers. The Lawson family tragedy. Yes. And uh, what did you do today? What did we put out today? Today was the man who killed Santa. That's right, the man who killed Santa. And I'm sure I forget. Oh, the Christmas Story House. We mm -hmm. did that. Yes. Um, not quite paranormal related. We didn't find anything there, but we did travel to them to that mm -hmm. location. So, um, yeah. And there were theoretically some some claims there. Yeah, so. there were some claims that there might be something there, and it's quite but interesting because more heard information anything. hasn't came back about that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, we're watching on our laptop here, so if uh, you're having connection problems, it looks like it might be buffering every once in a while. But uh, we are recording this, too. I did hit record. Yes, right. So You did? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you'll upload it, upload it later if the quality doesn't come out too good. Okay. Um, okay. So, anyways, let's move on to some of the things that we wanted to talk about. And I know you wanted to talk about our shirts, actually, Yay! what we're wearing here. Uh, NORAD and yes, Santa tracking. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Um, 
Nora's been tracking Santa since 1955. Did you know that? Was it 55? Mm -hmm. Really, when they started? Mm hmm. It has been. It's been a long journey. It all started back in 1955 when NORAD wasn't even called NORAD yet. They were actually, at the time, CONAD uh, for the Continental Air Defense. Uh, and this gentleman here that you're seeing on the screen now is actually Colonel Harry Shelp, uh, who I used to think it was Shoop, but I heard NORAD say Shelp, so I'm going to go with Shelp, um, where he uh, supposedly received some little call from a little kitty at Con, Con Ed. And uh, the kid wanted to know where Santa was. <laughs> and I'm he watching was, the video. Oh, I'm you're watching the video? That. I'm looking at you like, yeah. oh, are you going to ask me any questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching. I'm, I don't think our connection's too great, but uh, go ahead. Okay. So anyway, he got this little this little kid calling him, asking him where Santa was, and so, at first, he was kind of like, uh, okay, uh, the North Pole, I guess, you know. But um, throughout the night, he started to get more and more of these calls. And apparently, there was a Sears and Roebuck ad, and you can see that Sears and Roebuck ad there on the screen with us. Sears uh, and what? Sears and Roebuck. Roebuck. Yes. I thought you said Roebuck. I, I hope I said Roebuck. <laughs> doesn't matter it's live. Anyway. <laughs> nobody's anyway. watching anyways because the video's buffering anyways. oh i'm sorry uh but anyhow uh sears and Technology. roebuck apparently Lovely. put the wrong phone number in for their santa hotline and they got con out instead yeah. and uh so all the little kids were calling there to talk to santa and that's how it all began and that's how it all began according to norad but I did find uh, a guy named Matt Novak actually found... Am I supposed to switch here? Yes. Actually found that there was maybe not that story of truth. But that is what NORAD says on their website. That's the official news. That's the NORAD. official uh, from NORAD is that's how it, how it began. But uh, according to this other gentleman, he found a newspaper report from the Pasadena Independent on November 30th of 1955 and this is the article that was there and basically it kind of counters what NORAD has been saying for all these years and it says that the phone call actually came on November 30th and then eventually uh, Colonel Schaup, uh he did um, tell his people then hey let's go ahead and do this on Christmas Eve and so they opened up the phone lines on Christmas Eve so which one is true I don't know NORAD says but we have a newspaper article that says different I don't know anyhow uh, a couple years later uh, CONAD became NORAD uh, the North American Aerospace Defense Command and uh <laughs> You gotta tell me when to flip the screen because <laughs> that's okay. okay. We're good. You're good. All right. Anyhow, uh, a few years later, they began uh, running this, you know, from the NORAD name, okay. uh, and they've been running it through the NORAD name ever since. Uh, but it continues, like I said, through the years, and it still does it today. In the '60s, they actually released some records, and you can actually purchase uh, copies of the. Uh, commercials that they had sent on these records to radio stations and what they did was they released these records and they asked the uh, radio personalities to play these tracks on Christmas Eve and basically they were you know these little memos from NORAD saying that they had seen Santa they had this unidentified object and, and, and they they're really went up cool and checked little it segments yeah they we are. were going to play them but we didn't want to get flagged for copyright you know i couldn't find that they were public domain which they're probably not but you can actually go and purchase them uh we have the link up there yes and uh or you can actually there's a, a location on soundcloud that's where yes. we were listening to them yes so you can um, listen to them on yeah. soundcloud they're you actually can purchase cool. them on kind of makes ET me think of that war of the worlds thing you know yeah. where they kept breaking in at, at halloween time but, yeah but uh yeah, they're, they're 
they're interesting. Yeah. So. so on those records, they had these clips for the for the radios to play, but they also had um, some music that was played by the NORAD Commander Orchestra as well. So you can get all those on that CD if you purchase it from this location. They're not paying us, by the way. No. I wish they were. we're um, they're really again, actually quite inexpensive too. I was surprised how cheap it was. We'll but. be buying the CD. Did it earlier. Oh, you already bought it. Of course you did. <laughs> of course I did. Anyways. Anybody wants to give us a building for a uh, library, we ha- we can fill it. <laughs> oh, yes. I have Definitely. so many books and CDs and things. It's amazing. Oh, uh, Anyhow, so they continued on, and then in the 1970s, they went and did a TV commercial. And so it was a three-minute TV commercial. Don't ask. I don't know how they got the airtime, you know. But they did get um, this to run on U.S. stations around the country. And it was three um, three minutes, and it basically showed um, graphics like this one with uh, one of the little uh, NORAD trackers sitting there at his station watching the sky. And then, oh my goodness, here comes Santa through there. And they had some video of some fighter planes and things like that. Very cool. I liked it a lot. Uh, I also watched that video today. Um, but... Then came the, you know, the 80s, and it kind of continued. And then we got to the 90s. And so we had gone from... Oh, I'm sorry. We had gone from just on the telephone to let's, hey, let's put it... I just offended people from the 90s. I know. (sighs) Anyway, so we went from on the telephone... This is what happens when you can't edit. Normally that got cut out, but go ahead. Started on the telephone, then it went to radio, then it went to TV. What became big in the 90s? The internet. Oh, sorry. It became something that everybody was using all of a sudden. So in 1997, NORAD actually teamed up with AOL. Really? Yes. Okay. And what they did was they teamed up with AOL and a, a company called Analytical Graphics, and they created the first web interface portion, uh, and they went on the web to track Santa. Why are you yelling? You don't have to yell. Because I get so excited yeah, about Santa. Like spiking. They're probably going, <laughs> I'm sure they're not. They know Mrs. Mrs. talks loud when she gets excited. You were Mrs. Donald. I was. We're not at school. I know, I'm not at school. Anyway, in the mid 2000s, um, they decided to partner with this Google. Is a bad idea. I don't know if we're going to do live again. Anyways, go ahead. Partner I thought I was doing okay. You're doing great, but I'm watching this thing spin over there and people are coming and going left and right. Oh, and I'm sorry, sorry right. folks. Our internet is like horrid, but it is what it is. All right, so anyways, they partnered with Google in the early 2000s. We haven't even um, gone to the slides yet over there. What slides? The slides that we're oh, talking about. Oh, I'm talking, like, what slides? All right, go ahead. Stop messing with me. Uh, anyhow, so <laughs> they used Google Earth. I just find it funny. They used Google Earth. Make a car payment for internet, but yet we can't fly. <laughs> <sighs> so they used what? So in the, in the early to mid-2000s, they went ahead and they partnered with Google, Ooh. and they used Google Earth, and they started to do a little bit more with the, you know, uh, graphics and things like that. Today, we don't partner with Google anymore, because Google has Shh. created their Shh. own Google. version. Don't say that too loud. Don't say it too loud. Okay. Well, Google has their own version of tracking Santa now, so NORAD is not partnered with them anymore. Um, now they're partnered with Bing and Microsoft. So anyway, uh, the program is now called NORAD We're Track gonna Santa. We're going to delete our channel. Gone. Or the NORAD, San- NORAD Track Santa program, which is the NTS. Um, and it is completely funded now, um, almost completely funded now, by contributions from different corporations. Oh, there you say Microsoft. Uh, Ma- Microsoft, Microsoft Micro- is actually one of the sponsors. HP is another. And there's just a ton of them. There's like 30 different corporate sponsors now that actually go through uh, this year alone and sponsor them to, to create their website, which is noradsanta.org. And you can start uh, tracking and doing things with him in a, just over a day. In just over a day, they can do that. Um, this is the uh, screenshot of their website. 
Uh, so this is the NORADSanta.org website. And you can actually go there starting, I think, December 1st. And you, you can go there now. We went there today. Yeah, but I think, it, I think it pretty much opens. Yes, there is. It pretty much opens on December 1st, and you can go and click on that little little village there, and then you can go and see videos about it and the history about it and secrets of Santa about things. That little ticker's not Play counting games. down because we took a screenshot. Right, it's a screenshot. a screenshot. Yeah, so it's, it's just just over a day you'll be able to go, and on Christmas Eve every year they still go through and show Santa going around the globe and having you know visits to different locations that are very famous does this still tell world. you? I don't remember. Does this still tell you how many packages? Usually, yes. Stuff? Usually, he tells you. Know. They tell you where he's at, how many packages he's delivered, how many households he's visited, that kind of thing. It's a running tally the whole time. Um, so that's NORAD tracking Santa. Are you going to track him again? Yeah, I got my shirt. Yeah, ready to go. I'm. I'm kind of a little bit disappointed. In the NORAD tracker, um, the graphics are very, uh, very childlike. That's because you would they're think, not googly. <laughs> you would think <laughs> over the years that the graphics would get more and more and when more detailed. When did they change, though? Did you, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but when did they change where they weren't using Google? Was uh, this the first year? No. No. Oh. Two th- uh, I think it was like 2014 or something like that. Well, I do have to say that th- recently it's been uh, whatever, so maybe that's when they transferred from Google yeah. to Yeah, the graphics Uncle have not Bill. changed. The graphics haven't changed. And with the with the technology yeah, that like we have today, thing, it shouldn't videos. look like the cartoon that it does. But if you haven't seen it before... It's ever, exciting. It's it is exciting. Kind of interesting. So. Yeah. I know, I was very excited the first time I watched it, and I was an old lady already. So, you know, it wasn't like I was a five-year-old. I quite enjoyed it the first time that I I watched it, and uh, that was about 11 years ago, maybe. I don't, I I think it was about 11 years ago. It was just before we got married, so. Yeah, okay. All right, so, uh, again, at the end of the video here, before we uh, break away and shut this down, that's basically not working well. Um, we're going to give away a t-shirt. Okay. So for those of you who did not register on the video that we put out announcing that we were going to do that, if you stick with us and people are coming and going, and I'm sorry, folks, technical difficulties, our internet going out is horrible, and we probably won't do live again unless we try it through our other connection. But uh, if you want to get in on that, here's what you have to do. You have to subscribe to our channel. You have to comment on this video, uh, whether no you believe in the. Yet. No, haven't got any comments yet. Whether you believe in the uh, paranormal, and if you do, why? Uh, if you don't, you don't have to comment or, or comment. Um. Well, yeah, you have to comment because we need your name to put you into the drawing. So, uh, comment either way. So, okay. again, this is a live thing, and I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so my turn, right? Yes. All right. I'm done with NORAD for You're the day. You're done with NORAD. Yes. Okay. So I wanted to talk about uh, something that actually came out on December 15th. Okay. And I had this idea before, but something came out and kind of... Got you a little excited again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that is the tradition of telling ghost stories... At Christmas time. Yeah, you always get real excited when they play that song on the radio. Oh, now you're jumping ahead. This I'm is my ahead. segment. Well, I'm just okay. saying you always get excited when they sing that song. All right, so, you know, traditionally in the United States, we associate ghost stories and things of that nature with Halloween. Halloween. Okay? Yes. That has not always been the case. Now you're getting cheesy. That's, That's okay. my thing. I do the cheesy part. That's all right. Um, it used to be way back in the day, um, specifically during the Victorian age, but way back, way, way, way before that, um, people used to get together at Christmas, Christmas Eve, and tell ghost stories. Do you want to know why? Yes, of course. Well, during this time, what what did we just hit yesterday? The winter solstice. Winter solstice, the shortest day, the longest, the longest night. Day. Oh, oh, yes, I get you. Right? Yeah. So you had more darkness. 
So they would save reading um, books and, and telling ghost stories and stuff for the long winter nights. Mm. You've heard that saying before? Okay. Long winter nights. So Christmas actually traditionally was a time when they told ghost stories. Then it went through the Victorian age, and there was one thing that took place that actually totally changed that in America. What was that? Do you have a guess? What's the most famous Christmas ghost story? Ebenezer Scrooge? Yeah, and I... Yep. Yay! I was right? Charles Dickens. Right? A Christmas mm-hmm. Carol. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the... Uh, the story about Ebenezer Scrooge, he was visited by three ghosts during the night. And actually four, but um Yes, true, four. Four ghosts. Because his partner came say back. Three, yeah, his partner came four. back and then you had past, present, and future. That's right. So, um actually what had happened was they thought, well, it's not possible that three ghosts can come during the night and change the way that this fellow felt towards the world. You know, they weren't buying it, mm. okay, at the time. Okay. So that kind of, like, changed the Victorian thinking of Christmas stories towards, let's just do it all at Halloween. That was kind of like a hint towards it. It wasn't mm. exactly what changed it, but that was kind of like the beginning of it. Okay. Um, and I heard that in the art, or read that in the article today. Because I was thinking, what changed? Why, why would it used to be one way and it went to another? Right. Okay. So, but you mentioned that, jumping ahead. You mentioned that uh, song, It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year, mm-hmm. and those lyrics. Would you like to sing them? Can you see it? Oh, uh, I don't know. You mean, you right mean like, the, the whole, like, segment? No, just that part. There would be... There'll be parties for hosting, marshmallows for toasting, and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. So that's why the, there'll be scary ghost stories is in that song. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That makes that. sense. I was going to say, you didn't know that, did you? But you I did. That. I didn't know We've that We've been one. talking about that for years. Yes. Okay. Now, my slides are out of order, so excuse me. Why are they out of order? I don't know. Because we're live. (laughs) That's why. Of course. All right, so anyways, this article came out on December 15th. It came out from Smithsonian.com, where there is a plea to bring back ghost stories at Christmas time. Really? Yes, and I'm on board. So if anybody out there knows of any type of, um, what's that thing you got to sign? What? We're live. I'm, I'm I don't know live. what you're talking about. Petition. That anybody knows oh. of any petition or anything that has to be signed or whatever to bring back ghost stories, let me know. Leave it in the <laughs> comments. Uh, I'll be sure to sign that because I think that would be fun. Well, we have somebody that came on and said hi. Hi. Yes. Hi, Andrew. Yes. Andrew says Andrew's hi. Andrew's sticking around with us. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Give so, us a thumbs up. So did he? Did he? Uh, Andrew, subscribe? do you believe in the paranormal? Yeah. Yes or no? And if you put that in there, you could win a T-shirt. Ooh. He said hi. He said hi. Let me get another. I'll have a our tickets just ready. In case just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Or he doesn't get kicked off. Again, I apologize, folks. The internet connection is horrible. So now we got a little problem. What's your problem? Well. It's going to be a while before Andrew sees that we just told him that. Oh. Okay. And we're at the end of what I want to talk about, the Christmas stories. Oh. So he's not going to see that. He's not going to see it for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So you got something else you want to talk about? Well, I don't really have any Christmas ghost stories from when I was growing up. Do you? Do you no. remember? I know, like, at my mom's house now, she claims that, you know there's there's a ghost that kind of comes by and there, plays he said with it, it's a possibility it's a possibility all right so he, so he gets it. added to the list as well that's right um but she uh claims that there's a there's a ghost that comes and smokes a cigar at christmas at her house who's i'm sorry who said that my mom your mom mm-hmm. she thinks so. oh yeah i do remember hearing her say that it's mm-hmm. like every christmas mm-hmm. is it down in the basement because i told you yesterday that i heard something over there and you kind of looked at me funny but yeah that's kind of where they. I thought claim that it they've talked about it was something in the basement. Yeah, but also her bedroom. It turns the light on and off in the bedroom at night. 
while they're sleeping. But I don't know. I don't know. That's their ghost story so of Christmas. So if Andrew has actually saw that, then we're just buffering. Maybe they're not buffering. So. Oh, that's true. Okay. That could be. Maybe it's just us. Maybe we just suck. But, you know, that's, <laughs> that's a possibility. All right. So we ready to give away this T-shirt? What time is it? we got five minutes. We wanted to keep this at a half hour. Again, we want to thank everyone for joining us for this uh, live episode of Our Haunted Travels. We didn't go anywhere today. No, we didn't go anywhere. <laughs> But we hope you stay around. We hope you subscribe to our channel. Uh, we want to keep doing this. We have some great stuff. I mean, we have a ton of stuff that we're going to be putting videos out. We actually have no new places coming up already scheduled for 2018 that we're traveling to. Should we tell them where? I don't know. Should we? Should I we think spill we the should. beans? Why not? Well, the, you know, if they're watching this live now, watching it later, who cares? In in April. April, we're going to Chicago. And we're going to meet up with uh, Jeff Mudgett. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know who that is, he's the great, great, great grandson, great, 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 <laughs> I whatever. I think it's just two greats. Two greats of H.H. Uh, Holmes. and uh, America's first serial killer. That's right. And he has that theory of H.H. Uh, Holmes was the uh, Jack the Ripper. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to an event that uh, he's putting on, and we're going to meet up with him. And uh, we're going to have him on the show. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to do that live, trust me. No. We'll, we'll record that. <laughs> Um, and then in November, we're going to San Diego. We are. Uh, haven't quite researched that one yet. So if you're watching this from San Diego and there's some places that uh, you think are, uh, the Creepy Donnellys might want to go to and check out, um, please leave us a comment or give it, get a hold of us, and uh, we'll be researching some places, too, mm -hmm. that we're going to go to. Yeah. So, and we haven't even planned summer yet. No, we haven't. We've got April, and we've got November, and we didn't even we talk about We haven't planned what we're going to do in the summer. I know we're going to do something. Yes, Last summer course. was awesome, and we haven't even delved into putting stuff out about that. No. Have I? I don't no. think so. Mm -mm. So, no. anyways, okay, these people waited long enough. I think we're about ready. Is it time? Andrew, by the way, says, hey, the video looks good. No buffering. All right, so then it's us buffering. It's us. Time. Okay. It's us buffering to ourselves. All right, so how are you going to do this? Because so you thought this out. You, you had I've to spend got some this, money. Of course I did. I got this cute little... Uh, Santa letter box and you put the little the tickets in there and then we'll let them fall and shake them up and they'll come in here and I'll pull one. Alright, so we have how many entries? We've got one, one, two, three, four, five entries. Five entries, okay. Alright, so Sorry, do you, yeah. want, you want me to put them in there? Yeah, put them in the hole. Okay. okay. Alright, so they're in there. Ooh. Scary. It makes a lot of noise right, too. We'll go ahead and draw All the right. winner. Okay, so we're gonna open up the little door, mix them around a little bit, and do you want to do the honors? Yeah, well, I don't have my glasses. Oh. All right. Is that family shine paranormal? Family shine. Family shine family paranormal. Family shine you, paranormal. You won a t-shirt. You won a t-shirt. Uh, if you're not watching tonight, I will try to get a hold of you through YouTube, and I think, uh, oh yeah, I know him through uh, Twitter too. So. Um, okay, so Sean will get in touch with yeah, you somehow. Yeah, we need to get your address. We need to get your size, and we'll get you a T-shirt. There you go. All right. All right. Well, thanks everybody for for watching us and watching us play. Join into you know. our live nightmare. And if you if you get a chance life. Christmas Eve, make sure you go ahead and, and go check out NORADSanta.org mm -hmm. because they will definitely be doing all kinds of stuff. You can call them, you can you know do all kinds of stuff with them. Uh, so check it out. And uh, Christmas stories. Hey, if you're on board about bringing them back for for Christmas, maybe I'll put up a petition. But you can also comment in this video. Hey, let's bring them back. So tell some ghost stories at Christmas time. Did I say okay. Christmas stories or ghost stories? Uh, I don't remember. Who knows at this point? Already. I, I missed it already. Yeah. But uh, take and, and do that and wish everybody a Merry Christmas since Absolutely. we're not going to be around for Merry a couple Christmas. of days. Happy New Year. We'll probably be we'll back We'll be back before Christmas. New Year's. Yeah. But uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. Uh, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Very blessed and safe holiday. Yes. Folks. Um. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't Comment. subscribed yet, subscribe button is right around here. I looked that up. Oh, did so you? It's right there. It's right Hit by that me. subscribe button. It's right by me. That's right. <laughs> um, and don't forget to comment. And leave us a comment. Um, so, until next time, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. <laughs>